Wichita will be occupied as well. The top earning 1% of Americans' income has tripled, while we, the other 99%, have seen virtually no growth in wages over that period. This is what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! The Occupy Wall Street movement represents the students who are being buried in debt and forced to work for minimum wage despite their hard-earned degrees. The crime on Wall Street, here we are. Why we meet? Stop the crime on Wall Street. The corporate executives that employ you have seen their salaries, bonuses, and perks triple while your wages remain at a mere $7.25 an hour. Had mentioned that how we deal with that situation when we have questions, uh, you know, when somebody when it's somebody else's turn to talk, that we actually write down our questions and have a question round at the end. So She's not being violent. Come on, guys. Hey, hey, just calm down. Get out of my face. Back up. I'm rain, so we don't get the rain. Here in the rain, so you don't get the rain. Here in the rain, so you don't get the rain. I'm the public information officer for the U.S. Attorney in the District of Kansas. And we had a question today. We wanted to know about the National Detention or National Defense Authorization Act, specifically in regards to the indefinite detention provisions of that bill, do they apply to American citizens or not? And I'm not able to answer, answer that question for you, but... Wall Street owns the country. It is no longer a government of the people, by the people, or for the people, but a government of Wall Street, by Wall Street, and for Wall Street. It is terrifying. You should never have to choose between food, gas to get to work, or electricity to keep your lights on. If the income tax is repealed, I'm concerned the resulting property tax increase will put me out of my house and on the street. Uh, if we're going to cut these uh, income taxes down, but we're going to get money to do anything. I want to talk to you about the American Legislative Exchange Council. It's already been discussed here. Commonly known as ALEC. ALEC is not a lobby. It's not a front group. It's much more than that. ALEC is a partnership of big corporations and state legislators. I'd like to take this opportunity to name just a few of the corporations that we have. You have Coke Industries, Bayer, Shell, Walmart, State Farm, Dow, Chevron, Pharma, UPS, Merck, American Electric Power, Exxon Mobil, BP, AT&T, Time Warner, FedEx, Pfizer, Visa, and ConocoPhillips. And Gentle way. Go, 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 go. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? It? Now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Now. That being said, I am here to support the parents and students of USB 359. Tonight, the board will vote on whether or not to close five of our schools. Despite claims made to the contrary, this is not the only option for dealing with budget cuts from Topeka. So More chip.
show conflict of interest. There's laws that you have to follow and you're not following. And because you feel that you wear this badge that you can kill and don't pay for it, well, I feel like this. If we kill a human being, we pay for it. Our justice should make y'all hold the same accountability. Because I am American just like you. I'm not a slave anymore. I'm not a slave anymore. And I'm gonna tell these people, they ain't a slave no more. They got a voice just like you. Stop the killing, WPD! Stop, Stop the, the killing, WPD! Stop 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 the killing